Hello, I'm Kate Findlay from Arts Findlay. Today I want to talk to you about using various sorts of fusible web. There's quite a few fusible webs on the market and I just want to show you a few of the examples here. You can get really, really fine fusibles, almost see-through. It's like almost like a cobweb. So there's that type and this one is a, a little bit denser. So this is what I'm talking about is glue. This is heat activated by the iron and it's really, really useful in projects, particularly with raw edge applique, which is what I like to use it for. You can also get fusible webs with a paper back. So here that's got a paper carrier which will come off, but the glue is textured. You can just about feel it and then you've got the paper on the other side. So all of these have different uses and I like to use both of these in my raw edge applique and I'm going to show you a little bit on how I'm going to do that. I've got a piece I'm working on here which is going to be a scene with some owls in it and I've used both types of fusible web. So what I would do here is I'd use the fusible web which doesn't have paper on it and literally lay it on my backing felt, lay it down and then lay my background fabric on top and now I'd iron that and it just anchors the whole of my background down without any problems at all and it just makes it very firm and easy to work on. On top I can then start adding more fabrics which again have been bonded before I start to work but this time I'd use the paper back fusible. So here I would actually apply that to some fabric. So for example I've got a, a piece here which is uh, it was a hand dyed piece actually I'd put my paperback fusible onto that and I'd get my iron and I'd iron that very firmly. Another really useful thing you can do is use this to draw shapes. So if you've got very particular shapes that you want, let's do some oak leaves for example to go on my picture. I could freehand draw shapes on here first, or of course, I could trace. So if I've got some nice shapes I want, I could just put this onto uh, some uh, design and trace through. The important thing to remember if you do this is that when you put it, you, you iron this onto your fabric, your shapes are going to be reversed. These shapes already have uh, the fusible web attached to them, so that was a paper-backed one, that's my moon, and then here I've got my little owls. So I want to have some baby owls on here, and there's the paper which I need to take off. There we go. Now a little tip, a trip, a little trick for you here is to actually scratch the paper and then it just lifts up so much more easily. And then I can place all my elements of my design down, like so. And I think I'd be adding a, another rowl up here. Tuck that in underneath there, like that. But all of these elements are already bonded. So now all I have to do is get my iron and iron everything on. I'm Kate Findlay from Arts Findlay and you're watching The Craft Store. Thank you.